6.10.4 for grade 3 everyday math, collecting food container labels. Today our class measured the weight and volume of several objects. We tried to decide whether an object that weighs more than another object always has the greater volume. Ask your child, which takes up more space, a pound of popped corn or a pound of marbles? Help your child practice multiplication facts by playing the game Multiplication Top It. Directions for the game are below. Please send the collected food labels to school tomorrow. Uh, you actually don't have to send in the labels. Just please uh, look at different food labels and discuss them with your, your child. A. Ask someone at home to help you find food containers showing nutritional information. For example, you might look on canned goods, cereal boxes, bags of cookies, or bottles of cooking oil. Bring the labels or empty containers to school. Be sure they're clean. Okay, you can bring them, of course, um, but if you just have a discussion about them and see what you can learn and bring that learning to school to share, I'll be happy with that. B. Play a game of multiplication top it with one or two people at home. Multiplication top it is similar to the card game War. Directions. Number one, remove the face card from a regular deck of cards. The aces are the one cards. So I have a deck of cards here. And then shuffle the cards, place the deck face down on the table. Okay, so here's the cards face down on the table. What you're going to do, each player turns over two cards and calls out the product of the numbers. The player with the higher product wins the round and takes all the cards. So let's say two people are playing. This person here, let's say um, student, turns over a 3 and a 5. They say 3 times 5 is 15. This person's here, let's say mom or dad or grammy or grampy or older brother or sister, turns over a 10 and a 6. 60. Okay, 10 times 6 is 60. So they win. The person over on this side wins all these cards. All right, in the case of the tie, each player turns over two more cards and calls out the product. The player with the higher product then takes all the cards from both plays. Okay, number five, play ends when not enough cards are left for both players to turn over two cards. The player with more cards wins. So you just go through the deck once. You don't have to keep cycling through it. Um, and then there's an example down here. So that's a great multiplication practice. So please keep practicing your multiplication. So this is Homelink 10.4, collecting food container labels.